Hello everyone, I'm Brandon with Lenovo and I'm here today with the ThinkPad X270. Today we are going to be replacing the wireless LAN card. This process will take about 10 minutes and it should be easy enough for anyone to do. The tools required will be a Phillips screwdriver and a non-metallic pry tool. Before we continue, we need to make sure that we are protected against electrostatic discharge or ESD. Make sure to shut down the computer and disconnect all cables and accessories from the system. For further information, watch our Understanding Electrostatic Discharge video by clicking the link in the description. Now that we're ready, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is disable the internal battery. To do this, we're just going to disconnect the AC adapter, press the power button to turn the machine on, and then tap F1 to enter the BIOS. Once we're in the BIOS, we want to navigate to the configuration menu, down to the power selection and hit enter, and then down to disable built-in battery and press enter. Once you're in the setup confirmation menu, you want yes to be highlighted, and then you're just going to press enter one more time and that will disable the internal battery. Now we're going to remove the battery pack. We just need to slide the switch marked with a one to the unlock position, then slide the switch marked with a two to the unlock position, slide the pack out of the bay, and remove it. To remove the base cover assembly, we must first loosen eight captive screws. Then we're going to go in with our non-metallic pry tool and loosen the clips around the edge of the cover. Next we're going to lift the cover and remove it. Next we're going to disconnect the built-in battery cable from the system board. Now we're going to remove the wireless LAN card. First, we need to disconnect the cables from the terminals. Then, we're going to uninstall a single retaining screw. And remove the card from the slot. Now we're going to place the new wireless LAN card into the connector and install a single retaining screw. Now we just need to connect the black cable to the terminal labeled auxiliary. And connect the gray cable to the terminal labeled main. Next, we're going to connect the internal battery cable to the system board. Now we're going to place the base cover onto the system and press down around the edges to lock the clips into place. Then we need to tighten eight captive screws. Now we're going to align the battery pack with the bay and slide it in until it locks into place. To enable the internal battery, we just need to plug in the AC adapter and turn on the computer. 